Drowning is the leading cause of death due to unintentional injury for children in Tennessee between one and four years old. It's a fact Nicole Hughes wishes she would have known one year ago. The walls inside her family home are decorated with pictures of her children. We always knew we wanted three kids. That was our plan. Their family, however, is missing one of its youngest members. Pictures of Levi Hughes are scattered among the others, including their newest addition, seven-week-old Willow. We were so happy with our family and, and felt so uh, fortunate. But Nicole must face the fact she'll never have a picture with all of her children in it. We thought we were doing everything right. We really did. On June 9, 2018, the Hughes left for vacation in Alabama to meet six other families at a beach house. Over the years, this trip had become a tradition. It was such a perfect day for a three-year-old. It's June 10th. Levi and his sisters spent all day in the water and playing on the beach. As night fell, it was time for the annual crab hunt expedition. Levi was finally old enough to participate. And my husband you know, picked Levi up and flipped him upside down and said, how many crabs are we going to catch tonight? And Levi said, so many, Dad. And uh, that was their last interaction. About 10 adults and more than a dozen kids were in the kitchen waiting for nightfall. Nicole recalls every second of the next few moments with Levi. And I broke this brownie in half and I put half in his little styrofoam bowl um, and ruffled his hair and, and he said, oh, thanks, Mom. And then I turned around and I put the other half in my mouth. What happened next would change all of their lives. Still chewing the brownie she just shared with her son, Nicole walked out onto the balcony which overlooked the pool. I just happened to glance down and um, I saw Levi and it was he was face down and he was wearing this yellow crab hunting shirt that I had just put on him and it was so bright. Confusion hit. I, truly, I've <laughs> that was all I remember is just thinking how confused I was. We weren't even swimming. The other part of the brownie, I hadn't even finished eating it. That is how fast it happened. Nicole and another adult were in the pool within seconds to pull Levi out, but Nicole had a sinking feeling. I just knew that he was dead. Doctors also staying in the house were able to get a pulse back, but Levi passed within a few hours. How did we fail to keep him safe? For a three-year-old boy, drowning is the number one thing that would take him away from me, and it did. Since his death, Nicole has been sharing Levi's story to help educate parents and save another child's life. We did the best we could, and now we know how many things were wrong. I now know that there were zero barriers between Levi and the water. Um, there was a lapse in supervision, not a lack of it. We were in the room, I turned to close a bag of Cheetos, and in that split second is all he needed to somehow, you know, slip out the door. According to the most recent numbers from the Centers for Disease Control, between 2013 and 2017, nearly 800 children drowned every single year in the United States. Drowning is the leading cause of death due to unintentional injury for children between one and four years old with most accidents occurring in swimming pools. CPR training and formal swimming lessons are ways parents can help keep their kids safe. Four-sided pool fences are an effective way to prevent childhood drowning. And he could have learned to hold his breath, to float on his back, or at the very least to reach the surface if he had just known to hold his breath. Nicole wants parents to know this could happen to anyone. We will carry this regret and this heartache forever, but it's Levi who doesn't get a life, and he was three. For Kids Central TN and the Tennessee Commission on Children and Youth, I'm Jonquil Newland.